So if you don't know, now you know. We over here at the P1N Network will be interviewing Justin Burris this Wednesday on the podcast. And with that being the case, it's only right that we give a little bit of background to our special guests. You're listening to Money in the Bank. So let's talk Justin Burris, the kid out of Brighton High School here in Raleigh, North Carolina. That was a three-star rated prospect on Rivals and 247.com. Continued his playing career at North Carolina State. And did what many can't do, and that's realize his potential and take it all the way to the top, being drafted in the fourth round by the New York Jets in the 2016 draft. Here's the thing about Justin Burris. The one thing we, we do know about this guy is that consistency is the name of the game when it comes out of him and his career, especially in North Carolina State. True freshman, redshirt as a true freshman, so had to get right. Came back as a redshirt freshman, tallied 38 solo tackles, 16 assists, to giving him 54 total on the year. Tackle for a loss, a forced fumble, and an interception. All within his first year of being at the player playing in all 12 games. That's the type of production that you don't see from many, but I digress. To finish out his college career, Justin Burris finished with 121 total tackles, 89 solos, three interceptions, and two forced fumbles. And that was good enough to let him in the fourth round, being drafted 118th overall by the New York Jets. As a professional, he will only make two career starts in his first two years with the New York Jets, but will show his production level with getting interceptions in both years. Now in 2018, he was split time with the Cleveland Browns for four games and the Jets for another four, and ended up back in Cleveland in 2019, where he started to hit his stride as a professional. In 14 games, he started nine and really started to show he could be a solid force in the back end of someone's secondary, which led to his arrival in Carolina in 2020. In 2020, Justin Burris will come to the Panthers and provide stability in the back end, a position that they've been looking for stability with for quite some time, especially a strong safety. Tallying up 54 total tackles and one interception, Justin Burris showed why he was able to stay on rosters before and starting to really hit strides as a professional at the right time. And in 2021, a season marred by injury, played in 10 games, started in eight, did much of the same way by tying another interception in that season as well. Justin Burris is another one of those guys that most people may not understand what the what he brings on a stat sheet, but when you watch the game and you watch how he plays, you understand exactly why you have to have a guy like that in your corner, a guy that played corner in college, a guy that has transitioned to the safety position. He can play everywhere on the field, provide that versatility and stability for a young team and a secondary that's looking to learn and grow. And the one thing that we're also happy about is that we get to talk to him. We get to interview a professional athlete, a Carolina Panther at that, and a guy from the Carolinas. So I hope you guys enjoy today's Money in the Bank, and I hope you guys really enjoyed the episode coming up this week with Justin Burns. Follow us on all social media platforms. It's your boy, Shanti Stewart, the host of Money in the Bank, and 